Now, the last thing I want to talk to you guys about tonight is actually uh, eBay. You might be like, whoa, wait a second, I thought we were doing Amazon here. Well, I actually like to use one particular page on eBay. This used to be called eBay Pulse. You may have heard of that uh, before in the past. eBay Pulse no longer exists, but um, this is something I've been using for many, many years since uh, you know it was actually called something else before what it is now. This is popular.ebay.com. I actually use this as a, a niche research page if I need ideas for a new niche or a new type of product or a, even a specific product that I might want to try to um, build a, a full website out of, I can find, um, you know, popularity uh, and sales um, data here on Amazon, not specific data, but by simply seeing a product being listed anywhere on this page here, I can know beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is something that people actually buy on eBay. And as a result, people would also likely buy the same type of products on Amazon itself even if those products are not already popular on Amazon. As long as they exist there, you could build a website around it, bring in the relational uh, search engine traffic that I can guarantee exists for anything on this page, and simply uh, refer sales on Amazon products instead of eBay products. Because ultimately, this is a consumer-driven marketplace, just like Amazon is. And so a lot of times, uh, data that is relevant to one site can actually apply to the other site as well. So don't be afraid to go off of Amazon to try to get some of the information that you need to uh, build these sites for you. I've actually built numerous extremely good Amazon sites just by simply seeing uh, the niche name listed here on this page. And you can actually uh, click on one of these categories, for example, and see even more um, niches or product types or brand names associated along with it. And these are all going to be um, popular products, again, on uh, eBay within these particular categories. So, um, you know, if you find yourself needing more ideas or especially as you continue to build more sites in the future, um, the uh, popular page on eBay is one great place that you can actually go to get new niche information or maybe even to verify that uh, a niche you've selected off of um, Amazon might actually be a viable niche if perhaps you can't get any kind of proof on Amazon that the products actually sell online, uh, come over here to eBay and see if you can find any reference to it at all. Because you always have to consider what you're promoting, whether you know people will buy that product online, despite how great the price may be, um, certain kinds of products are a lot less commonly purchased online than they are in person, like um, large furniture, for example. Um, you know, anything that has a large size or a large weight to it, instantly people typically think this is going to be expensive to ship. It will probably just be cheaper if I run out to my local store and buy. So I'll try to avoid those types of products right off the bat.